At his home in Libreville, Gabon, former Congolese international Maurice Filankembo recalls the day he encountered Pele. That was nearly 56 years ago when the Congolese national side hosted Pele's club outfit, Santos FC, in a friendly in Brazzaville. Pele was a phenomenon and everyone wanted to see him. And that day, there were people who had never been to the stadium, who were there only to see the phenomenon. Brazilian football superstar Pele, who died at the age of 82 on Thursday, leaves behind many admirers, including those that had to play against him. To be encouraged by the genius of football, by King Edson Arantes do Nascimento, he gave me joy and unfortunately for us we suffered in the second half because Santos refused to lose. They equalized and in the last two minutes Pele got a penalty and they beat us 3-2. For Phil Kembo, it is Pele's extraordinary act of sportsmanship after their march in Brazzaville that defined the Brazilian legend. Pele got up, walked out of the group and headed towards us. No policeman, no soldier could stop him or ask where he was going. He came towards us and he comes, he parts me. He takes off his shirt, he gives it to me and asks for mine. A three-time World Cup winner and widely regarded as the greatest player of all time, Pele died Thursday after a long battle with cancer.